Hey guys, I'm Mobile back again. Welcome to day six in the life of the Galaxy S23. Today I'm recording in 4K 60 frames per second. All my other videos in the past, I've just used the default, whatever that was, 1080p. Now I'm bumping it up to 4K just to see the difference in video quality. So you guys let me know if you can tell the difference between me recording in 4K versus compared to my prior videos where I just record in the standard mode right out of the box. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the difference between the slow-mo and the super slow-mo mode. That's kind of hard to say, slow-mo mode in the Galaxy S23. So slow-mo in general is one of my favorite camera features on smartphones. I just think it is fun to play with and in general the super slow-mo looks better but it is harder to capture. When you press the super slow-mo option you gotta time everything correctly right when the movement is about to begin or right when the object is moving. That's when the super slow-mo can begin. And as a result of that, you may end up missing the shot pretty often. I find that the super slow-mo is really hard to use and hard to time. And if you're in a situation where you only have one chance or one opportunity to achieve everything you ever wanted for one moment and you wanna capture it, I would not use the super slow-mo just because of the fact that it is harder to take. But in general, it does look a lot better. And for the regular slow-mo, you can just snap that anytime you want, record a full one minute video clip and everything's gonna be in slow motion. I guess another option is you can just record everything in regular mode and then you can use a software like DaVinci Resolve and from there you can make everything slower or faster. We can do a Snapchat and they have slow-mo filters as well. So lots of different options if you want to take slow videos. So here's some quick demos that I have going for you guys. So just figure I shared that just in terms of the slow-mo feature. I actually do enjoy it. And one of these days I will try to master the super slow-mo. But the regular slow-mo works fine as well. So day 36, I woke up at 6.18 a.m. Phone is at 100% for breakfast. We got some acai, acai bowl and coffee. I try using the food mode in the camera option to see if it's going to help with the depth of field issue, but it did not. My bowl is still somewhat clear in the top area, but in the bottom right, it looks a bit out of focus. Same with my coffee, since it's further in the back, it is a bit blurred out. Check in my T-Mobile Tuesday app. Since it is a Tuesday every single week, they give you something sometimes good, sometimes it's not. But the one I always use is this 10 cents off shell. So just go in here, save into my stuff, try to plan my travel so that I end up at a, cell, at a Shell gas station to take advantage of this. So if you are a T-Mobile customer or a Metro, make sure you take advantage of T-Mobile Tuesday. So another long day of work for me. 8.45 a.m. phone is about 89%. Doing some early morning shopping before heading to work. Okay, just walking around Shaw's supermarket. Grabbing some snacks before heading off to Hawaii. Currently using my favorite director's mode. Also utilizing the phone speaker. Just whispering into the phone. Came across this article on Sunbird. Sounds pretty interesting. I'm definitely excited to try this out. So I did join the waitlist. So the goal of this company is to basically get rid of the blue bubble, green bubble problems. We'll see if they're able to do it successfully. Cause you know with Apple and the iMessage, you chat with them they and you use an Android device, they know you are an Android user. And I think the goal of this company to try and fix that. I wish them the best though, because overall it's a terrible experience chatting with iPhone users on iMessage in a group text. You're gonna get blurry videos, reactions weird, it's just an overall terrible process. And for some reason no one wanna switch over to WhatsApp or another platform that is much better. And then I went for my afternoon walk. Just gonna throw this video in here, fully unedited. 
just for the one time. All right, I do a lot of screen recording, but usually don't really use this feature. But I do like the fact that on the S23, you can do screen record and then have a floating head if you want. So I can drag my head around there. But the reason why I started this recording is I found out that you can actually snooze notification. So in this bottom right hand corner, I've never noticed it, but it's right here. Just click on that. You can snooze it so the reminder can come back later. All this time, thought you couldn't do it. Here we are. So, currently just going on my walk. Phone is at 95%. Been sitting in a wireless charger all morning as I'm working. Now I'm gonna switch over to the main camera. Hello friends, we're back again. This is the 1X zoom, 3X zoom, wide angle I believe. Finally have a chance to go outside. Been super busy with work over the last few weeks. In the morning, do you try to wake up at 6? Back then, I'll try to wake up at 5. Ideally, I would like to get 8 hours of sleep. But these days, just managed to squeeze in 7 to 7.5 hours. But do we gotta do busy times. So at least now, I found time to go for a little stroll. Spring is finally here. Thank God, yesterday was 25 degrees. But today is 62. Walking around in my sweater. Don't need a winter jacket or anything like that. And if you guys haven't already, please check out my five weeks review of the Galaxy S23. We are still going strong. I realized afterwards that I said four weeks during the video. But after pumping out these video on a daily basis, they all start to blend in all at once. Ooh, getting hot, head skin itchy, but anywho, nice beautiful day for a walk, currently using director's mode. I'm wearing some random Amazon earbuds as well, so the speaker quality is going to be coming from that. There's a little bit of wind. So you may be hearing some extra noise. I gotta figure out how to reduce the noise reduction at some point. You know, at one point I was using lav mics, and then I switch over to one of those Amazon mic. You notice when I'm recording my videos, I'm also using my computer, so you can hear me clicking my mouse. You can also hear me. You can also hear my squeaky chairs. You can also hear my squeaky chair. And I tightened it up about a month ago and it worked fine. Now it's back to being squeaky. So we are still strolling along, making my way back. This video takes so much effort to record and edit. Maybe one of these days I'm just going to post them unedited. See how it goes. 100% unfiltered. But this is day 36 with this phone. You can see me walking, holding the phone up. Super comfortable to hold. I go after three minutes, it is getting tiring. But we'll keep powering away. Gotta make my way back for lunch. Have a couple of meetings for work in the afternoon. Hopefully, it will be a light evening. Then, just gotta power it through a few more days of work. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three more days. Saturday, we're off to Hawaii. 
I've been dead like seven years ago. But now, going on my last trip, the official baby moon squeezing in a vacation before the little guy pops out in July. I mean, I might as well get used to sleeping less than seven hours now. Because when my son is born, I would be imagine I'm probably going to be sleeping in one hour spurts. No idea what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Watch some YouTube, do some research. My mom raised me just fine 30 plus years ago without any internet resources. So we'll be okay. Alrighty, gonna pause for a bit, put my phone down, just enjoy the walk. For dinner, I went to 10 seconds Yunnan rice noodles. I'm trying to picture, trying to take a picture of this cup, but all the text is blurred out. <sighs> Just step a few issues, definitely getting annoying. But hey, this is one of my play favorite places to go for dinner in the Quincy, Massachusetts area. My go-to is the hot and sour soup. Snap a pic of that. The center looks focused. The edges are out of focus. So if you're using the S23, food photos are not gonna look good. And I'm pretty sure if you're aware of it by now if you watch my all my other videos. And I made my way back, 9.16 p.m. Phone is at 63%. Since it is a work day for me, I did have it on my wireless charger, so it was hovering near 100% most of the day. But I, by the time I went to bed, it was close to 50%. I had podcast playing in the background while I was sleeping. So by the time I woke up, it is at 32%. 5.57 a.m. So another solid day, roughly 12 to 13 hours of battery life on average, still going strong. Currently using the same charge to record the video, to record this video as well. And when I'm done, I'm gonna put it back on my wireless charger, go back to work, rinse and repeat all over again. Screen on time isn't that great today, it's only about two to three hours due to the fact that I didn't really use my phone that much throughout the day. Alright guys, this wraps up day 36 in the life of the Galaxy S23. Please let me know if there's anything else you want me to cover. Remember to check out my OnePlus 11 one week review, final review if you haven't already. Please like and subscribe and see you guys in the next video.